When ships are in the open sea, in the middle of a voyage, it's normal for the crew to perform routine maintenance. On deck, the usual jobs will be de-rusting and painting. While in the engine room, maintenance of various machinery is usually carried out. But what about during weekends? How does the crew spend their weekends on board a ship that's in the middle of an ocean passage? It's been more than a week since our ship left port, and we still have two weeks to go before we arrive at our destination. Of course, while the ship is en route, we have plenty of time to do maintenance. We are also required to carry out drills and onboard training. This is usually done during Saturdays, but can also be done any day of the week depending on the ship's schedule. As you can see here, we're training for a rescue in enclosed spaces. Sometimes, the crew will do jobs inside tanks, coffer dams, and other enclosed spaces. And yes, there are safety protocols in place. But sometimes, accidents still happen, whether from a lack of oxygen or from slips and falls that cause injuries to those who are working inside. Rescuing them is going to be a challenge due to the tight spaces, slippery surfaces, and sometimes it will be necessary for rescuers to wear breathing apparatuses, which will add difficulty to their movements. This is why frequent drills are carried out in order to familiarize the designated rescuers on how to move and what to do precisely during an actual rescue. It looks easy enough watching it on video, but it's entirely different when you're the one actually wearing the equipment and going down into the enclosed space. The next part of the training is CPR. The demonstration is conducted by the second mate, who is usually designated as the ship's medical officer. And as continuous, you will check his uh, pulse as well as his breathing. So, this my breathing, you just listen, and you can also see the rise and fall of his chest. If not, confirm that the patient is no breathing. First, before you carry out the CPR, what you're going to do is to check airway. if the airway is open. So the procedure is, you must do a head tilt position. At the same time, you open this one and make it sure not too much because if the tank goes inside, it will close the airway also. Although the second mate is designated as the medical officer, in truth, the only medical training that is required for them is the medical emergency first aid training, which is a four-day course that all ship's officers and engineers are required to take, and the five-day medical care training. 
So it's really not ideal for any of the crew to get sick or injured while the ship is out in the middle of the ocean, sometimes hundreds of miles away from the nearest land. Being that far away from any rescuer means there's a very big chance that serious medical emergencies can lead to fatalities. I've seen my share of minor injuries happening to crew members like cuts and minor burns, which are pretty common. But I've also seen some serious cases like sudden difficulty in breathing. There's also one time when we were at anchor while in a ship-to-ship -ship or STS operation. Someone on board the other ship died while working in an enclosed space. They had to send over the casualty to our ship as they had no means to lower him to the service boat from their free side. In any case, frequent training while on board helps to familiarize everyone with what to do in case something like this actually happens. Because let's face it, there's no one else to turn to when the ship is out at sea. Uh, this is the recovery position while meeting, uh, waiting for the medical, uh, medical team or uh, assistant from the shore. Okay, any question? No question? Junior, no question? Not so far. What is the purpose of uh, recovery position? Huh? Okay, so no meeting. No meeting. Okay. So what's the... <laughs> Shoka. So that this uh, any liquid will not obstruct in this throat. That's why we do the recovery position. So any liquid coming out in this uh, throat to its mouth directly going out. Uh, that is the purpose of recovery position. Because let's say he has a broken uh, bones, he, he cannot move his body once he is vomiting. So in this case, he can uh, move it without any obstruction, okay? Okay, any question about our uh, uh, enclosed space, something to improve? There are always a room for improvement. Before we proceed, just a quick update. I know some of you are already aware that I've begun my studies for a master's degree last September. I'm taking up Master of Science in Engineering for Marine Professionals at MLA College in the UK. So far, I've already submitted my research proposal and it was already approved. My research topic is a comparative study of ammonia, methanol, and hydrogen as alternative fuels. It is a timely subject since the maritime industry has been gearing towards finding the next fuel for ships, which has the capability of reducing CO2 emissions. I am now in the process of gathering data and conducting an online survey. So if you're in the Merchant Marine, either from the deck or engine department, I would like to invite you to participate in this survey. It would only take about five minutes or so of your time. So please, I would very much appreciate it if you could answer a few questions simply by clicking the link provided in the video description below. Anyway, if you're interested in pursuing higher education like an MBA or a Master of Science degree, MLA College has an assortment of distance learning courses that may fit your needs. Upon completion of the course, the degree will be awarded by the University of Plymouth. Their courses are designed specifically with the working professionals in mind. I actually began my course while on board a ship. You don't even need to have a daily internet access, as all the materials you will need to begin, like video lectures, will be provided to you and you can access them anytime offline. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now at MLA College. Link is in the description below. Next is an oil spill on deck drill. This one is simple. Just get the cleaning equipment out of the SOPEP room. Test the portable pump. and simulate cleaning. Next is a short exercise on how to don the immersion suit.
The objective is to be able to wear it without assistance in less than two minutes. After the drills and training, the crew is given free time for the rest of the day. Weekend is also the time to celebrate in case someone had a birthday during the week. For this celebration, we had a special barbecue dinner. For the first time after four months, we <laughs> finally have a barbecue party. Nick, how many months on board? Seven plus months. Seven, seven plus months. So in all your time here, the seven plus months, how many barbecue parties? The first time, sir. First time? Yes, sir. As with land-based jobs, Weekends at sea are usually reserved for the crew to have some rest and recreation. It's like a reset button, so they can face the coming week refreshed. Having good food is a bonus. Nothing raises morale more than a delicious meal, especially after a tiring work week. It is a major factor in building camaraderie and developing a synergistic working relationship between each and every crew member. Eventually, the weekend will pass. When Monday comes, it's going to be business as usual. But such is the life of seafarers. They just have to get through it, one day at a time.